Release the Kraken! Good evening fellow game designers, Ron here with Lame Duck Studios. And in this tutorial I wanted to go ahead and talk about a question I got from one of my students today, which was how do you call the variables of one widget from inside another? So in a game that he's making, he happens to have two widgets. So I'm going to go ahead and look and show you the layout here. So we have our, our game mode, which has our HUD loaded. So if I open that, so if I open that, we have our HUD class loaded as our HUD. And then inside of the HUD, we're just creating the first widget. So in this example, I have widget A. So the blue uh, begin play creates the first widget and sets that. And of course, I, I set the mouse cursor because I'm going to be using that. In widget A, we have a button and a little piece of text. You push the button, it creates widget B. So I push the button. So I push the button, and then that creates widget B. Okay? And then widget B has a button called button B. And if I click that, it sets a variable. So it has a variable called is on. Okay? So the question was, how do you get access to widget B's variable from within inside widget A? Well, the simplest solution is to pass uh, the widget B into a variable, and then you can see that here. And then to get access to the variables within widget B, we get a reference to that variable. And then we can pull off and talk directly to it. So its variable is, is on. So I can either get or set it. And you can see over here that we do not have is on because is on is part of widget B. So we're here in widget A. Widget B is over here. You can see the variable for widget B. So here's widget B. We're talking to its variable. And then I'm passing that into a string so I can see it. And let's see how that works. So Widget A is running. If I click the button, it creates widget B. And if I click widget B, it sets it to true, which goes back to widget A. So if you have a situation where you have one widget that creates another and you need access to the child's variables, then you just pass the child into a variable and then you have access to it. All right? So that's a very quick way of doing it. This is probably my fastest tutorial on record. And as always, I will see you in the next video.